Joe Bradley, you're really looking forward to this, aren't you? Why? Well, I, mean, I think it's a huge clash. I mean, Donegal, as Dublin had, had leapfrogged Tyrone. You know, they had taken the Tyrone template and they pushed on from there. Stronger, faster, fitter. They had honed the game plan down. Better attacking system than Tyrone. Tyrone are now coming back up to a par with Dublin and Donegal, as you saw in the league final. And uh, I think that, um, you know, it's, it's going to be uh, a war, genuinely a war. The thing about Donegal is I think, I mean, I described them in the paper today as a football and superbug. You know, so far they've been resistant to all known forms of football. And in two years, they've lost once against the Dubs to two, by two points in a game when McGuinness was still working out where he was. And uh, I think that they're reliable, they're relentless, they're very calm and composed. They're very economical. So the problem that they present to anyone is, OK, come and get us. Let's see what you can do. And you know they're going to be there for 70 minutes. The question for Tyrone is whether with Morgan they're kicking the long-range freeze now. Because that's disruptive to Donegal. Because both Tyrone and Donegal like to stop you around the middle. So they'll pull you a wee tag, a wee pull, break you down. With Morgan kicking those frees now, that changes the dynamic a bit. The question is whether okay. that closes the gap sufficiently. And then there's one other indefinable thing, and that's the issue of appetite, whether or not that might somehow have seated Donegal. I said this to Jim when I met him at the league finals, and uh, he said, oh, we've never once mentioned a second All-Ireland. He said, we'd be ready. He said, all we've mm -hmm. talked about is Tyrone. And I have to say, when he tells you that, you believe him. And you can see why the players have followed him so blindly down such a tough, tough road that they pursue. Like. Okay, well, well let's...